Hi, everybody. Sorry, um, Minerva is, uh, Minerva is all over me. She has been very needy today. Very needy today. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the audio is going today. I'm finally on the new computer. And it's been, uh, I've been poking at it, like, literally ever since I set it up. I did most of the setup last night, I think. Hopefully. We're going to go in here and see what the audio sounds like. Okay, I'm clear. We obviously don't have background music, so... That'll be fine. Oh, hey, Mo Angela. How are you? Hi, Morbid Heart Designs. Woo. Yeah, no music. We will just have to live with no background music. Um, that will be fine. Um, I need to get my phone stand. Ugh. I gotta figure out why the music isn't doing its thing. It started working a little bit yesterday, and then I, of course, changed something, and then it stopped working. Yay. At least everything else is going okay. Like, we can hear me. Oh, that was on April 20th. Well, hi, Insano. How are you? Minerva, can I put you down? Can I please put you down? You want to say hi to everybody? Kitty head. Pack of cat's head. Hmm? Is that yogurt? Any scruffles? Are you so cute? You're so cute. You are so cute. Okay, fine. I gotta put you down. I have decided today she is channeling her inner Mr. Bigglesworth from the Austin Powers movies because I've put her down multiple times and she just like climbs right back up. Now what are you doing? Meow, I know, but I gotta do stuff. All right, what am I doing? We are painting this. Um, I took all the, it's, it's on there pretty good. So first of all, they shrunk a bit. They used to be touching right in here. I'll use a pointy tool. Right in here they used to be touching. There's some fuzziness from when they like, pulled apart. Um, and I pulled as much of the paper towel out of the heart things as I could. This one's got some like way in there. We're just gonna have to paint it. And I'm glad that uh, we let it dry because it, it's a good thing. Plus, we're going to be putting acrylic paint on it, so it's going to get moist again anyway. Minerva, what are you doing? Okay, come over here. You're freaking adorable, Minerva. I wish I had another camera. Then I'd show you what she's doing. All right, what are we doing? I'm gonna use this one. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint, basically paint everything yellow. Everything's gonna be yellow. Um, I think that's a good base color. I have to Go over here and in here and over here. And then we go back over here. Alrighty. Literally just gonna slather this whole thing with yellow. Except for the wood. We're gonna try not to paint the wood. Uh, I'm gonna do a wood stain. I have to tint it. Do 
What's funny is I actually have the music playing on the computer. I just don't know why it won't go to the streaming software. I've not been able to figure that out. Hope everyone's having a good week. My morning was crazy. Not just setting this up, but I had to quote unquote go into work. I had to sign into my work login on my computer for about an hour today and try to get stuff done. Getting paid, yes! I need to check my account and see if my pay has gone through. If not, I need to let them know. Hey, y'all haven't paid me yet. Trying not to introduce too much more water to this. Oh, she's climbing the curtain. She's a climber. Minerva is most definitely a climber. If she can climb it, she will. I was thinking I might end up having to sand this or something, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Basically, I'm going to paint everything I can from this vantage point, and then I will turn it to hopefully get the other vantage points. That way there's less turning going on. Although, of course, turning things might be interesting. I'm going to need a small brush to get in there. And it's a little crack in here, but that's okay. Because it's technically the two different parts. Like it's supposed to be there, but it's supposed to be larger. Minerva, what are you doing on my desk? I see you. Get down. Get move your booty. Oh crap. I just knocked my cup of water over. And there's water going on the floor. Get down. Ugh. It'll be fine. All right. Yeah, it'll be fine. We're fine. Just a little water on a glass table, on a concrete floor. It will be okay. I 
I got slid off the screen. I have. Painting like 3D things is interesting. Mostly because like I don't have to envision what shading should be down here. Like how this is like a darker color than up here. Like I don't have to paint that. It's naturally there. Which was nice. Again, like I don't have to, I don't have to think about how all this is going. I just have to make sure I get the colors right, honestly. Which is why we're going in with yellow first. So the other thing I was thinking I could do with this is maybe do some UV resin and have like UV resin body fluids coming out of it. But I don't know if that's what I want to do or not. It's like the last, maybe the last thing to do. Any happen anyways. I mean, it could be cool. It really could be. So many little bits. Yeah, like adding fake blood. And maybe like some stringiness between the two of them. Maybe. I don't know. So I can just add some color to some UV resin and, you know, pop it on there and make some stringy things. Again, it would be like the last thing I do, like it would be the end, end thing, uh, which means it's not going to happen today. You think it would be cool? Well, maybe we'll do that then. Maybe we'll do that on Wednesday. Maybe that will be what we do on the next stream. The other thing we might do on the next stream is I have a painting that's behind me and I can, I should, hopefully, fingers crossed, have some kind of motivation to work on it and maybe get it to a point where we can just do the finishing touches on the stream. That'd be cool too. All right, I'm going to rotate this completely around. I feel like you could see more of the table in this stream than last stream. And I haven't changed anything on this table. Like I haven't moved it anywhere. I didn't do anything to the camera. I just... Minerva, get down. Hey. Get down. You're going to make me break stuff again. Oh, come here. Okay, okay, look, fine. 
I will try to paint one-handed. I like how the light hits this, like how dark that bit is, how like there's that shadow there, like there's some cool lighting going on in this, and I don't even have the good lighting on today. Oh yeah, I didn't change my lighting situation. I think we'll be okay. The other thing I have to do is this weekend I have to sculpt my award for the Tacoma Artists Meetup Award Ceremony that's at the end of the month. This month is super busy. I think that's kind of why I've had like art block it is just because I feel overwhelmed. And I did it to myself, but that doesn't mean that I don't have, don't get to feel overwhelmed. Pardon me. You gonna start purring for people, huh? You gonna start purring for them? So they have something to listen to when I'm not talking? I think I'm gonna have to flip this over at some point. And I'm kind of afraid to. So I can get into all the little holes and stuff. I'm going to have to hold it at a really awkward angle. But right now, I think we're doing okay with this giant ass brush. Ooh. That's dropping the paint off of the handle. feel like I'm trying to paint with like maybe I guess technically an infant but you know a young child but that has like the ability to like look around and throw you off balance oh they get to hear you purr now Rotate this this way. Man, so one of the one of my friends, uh, you can look her up on Instagram, Julia Josephine 920 is an artist and she is currently in a banana phase where she basically just paints bananas on like everything and I'm kind of like, maybe I should have just made two banana hearts, like hearts made out of bananas, then I could have just painted them yellow and brown. That have been entertaining. <laughs> well, when I let me when I'm done with my two clay projects, I will uh, see how much clay we have left. Maybe we will do that. Maybe it'll be a surprise award. I don't have a face camera anymore because I killed it. It um, I made a face.
All right. So there's this little bit right here that hangs off camera. I gotta try to stick my paintbrush in there and fill it with yellow. Minerva's gonna be very upset when I have to put her down to uh, paint at a weird angle. Oh, oh. I see some over here that I didn't get. If you guys are interested in like 3D painting and sculpting and stuff like that, there are, YouTube is a fantastic and wonderful place. Um, I haven't really watched any sculptor stuff in a while, but I vaguely remember liking um, Ace of Clay. Mostly because he would do weird things, but he also would, like, tell you why he was doing things. Which is helpful if you're learning. Like, even if you don't intend to use that knowledge anytime soon, sometimes just knowing things is nice. You know, drink beer and know things. Maybe that's your lot in life. Yeah, his his chant his videos are chill, and sometimes like um, after doing this, I really know why people like the silicone tools for sculpting because oh my god, that would have made my life so much easier. But did I have them? No. Am I gonna buy them? No, because sculpting is not like my normal thing, and I don't think I would use them for anything other than sculpting. I need to put you down again, Minerva. Maybe not. Maybe I can just turn it. Turn it and put it up on those so it's a slightly different angle. The audio is getting... Well, that's because the cat is on them. The cat is on the microphone, and she's decided it is a perfect time to clean herself. Okay, whenever... Okay, down you go. Okay. Minerva is no longer on me. <laughs> Which means I can paint at the weird angle that I need to do. <laughs> yeah, she just decided that that was where she needed to be at that moment. All right. I'm going to get a smaller brush. I think we're going to use this guy. We'll use the yellow paint over here. Yeah, Minerva just decided that that's exactly where she had to be right then. Okay, I think I need a larger brush, but not quite like, let's try this, this roundy one. Oh yeah, it's getting in there nice. Okay, that was a bubble that popped. Hey, Tulia, how are you? Yes, I will hydrate. Oh. I hydrated, but I didn't have a whole lot of water left because Minerva made me knock my cup over. OK. 
Okay. I want to show you what I'm doing, but I can't like flip this thing completely over. So I'm trying to get these, the bottoms of these things that are hanging over the edge. Nice. Well, thanks for hanging out with us while you cook your dinner. You having anything good? I mean, I'm sure anything food is good. Is it something you're excited about? How about that? Like, how far can I rotate this? Clay is already starting to like soften up again. Probably could have put some gesso on this first. But that sounds smart and like, why would we want to do that? Do, 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 do. I might have to do some sanding. You're making fried catfish? Wow, very classic Southern dinner. Oh, there's so many like little crevices. The beans is already cooking. The beans take the longest. Okay, we did that side. I just put my hand all over a aorta. All right. Bottom of this side's all lumpy. Which is fine. It's the back. No one's going to see it except for us. Ooh! One of the hearts fell off. It'll be okay. Ugh. It's not quite dry. I don't know. Yeah, you guys can see this is darker gray and this is like almost white over here. So it's still not dry. Which is fine. It's actually probably gonna be easier to paint off. You know what? Let's just let's just hold it. And we'll paint it. And we'll let it dry properly, and then I'll just glue it back on. I have some very good glue. Look at how much easier this is. Your fam family over for dinner and lots of good vibes. Yes. Well, it sounds like you've got definitely good vibes dinner. Get some more of this. I'm not covering everything up because it still needs a way to dry down here. So we're going to leave that. But we are going to get like all the way under there.
Cool. I know my hands are like all shaky because I don't want to drop this. That would suck a lot if I dropped this. Okay. I think we've got pretty much every spot we can get. plan on doing a wash so you know all the crevices will be like super cool looking but I think we've got all the spots that we can get so I'm just going to set this off to the side and work on the big guy some more and now we have access to like its butt okay I have to hold this so now we have access to like in here And if that one's not dry, this guy's probably not dry either, so. I'm definitely questioning why I didn't build these, make them form to this, but like put a piece of plastic down or something and then so I could take them off afterwards. I'm questioning my sanity right now. Like why did I do it this way? Because art doesn't have to be hard. Like you don't have to make it harder on yourself. Apparently that's what I wanted to do, so. This is a hideous yellow. It's so very yellow. It's probably because you're overthinking it too much. Um, I, I think that this one is because I was underthinking. All right, I gotta flip this back over. Kind of. I just need to, there we go. That, this little section here, underneath all of these things. Okay, my headphone just died on me. Let me go get the other one. Oh, little Minerva. You're so stinking cute. Pardon me. back over there. Awesome. All right. We've got the yellow. I think that's good. Hey, Ivory, how are you? Happy Friday. So we've got the one heart that came off, just decided it didn't want to hang out there for right now. And then like the big one. I am, I have two, not just one, two. And we have no background music because I could not figure out how to get it to play. It is playing. It's just for some reason not going through the streaming software, which is quite irritating. All right. Now we need some reds. Okay. This goes, goes like that. Goes like that. Okay. 
I needed the pallet. It had to move. Uh, and I need a towel. I need a towel to clean the paint brushes. Um, let's go with this guy for starters. All right, so we're going to make kind of a darker red, like a bluish red for the undersides. I should probably wait a little bit and let it dry. Oh, we're going to use my bottle of blue. Oh no, it's sealed shut. I think so. I had a lot of fun sculpting it, so. We're just gonna start kind of with a purpley color. And then as we add it, we'll probably do the small heart first because I think it's more dry. That is too purple. Gonna hang on. I'm gonna rummage around in my container of paints here and see if I can find a nicer red that I like better. I'm picky about my reds. Is it this one. So I've got this red, which is similar to the current red that we're using. Actually, I think it is the same red. Where is my other reds? It looks like I'm out of my other reds. We're just going to have to live with this red. It's okay. It'll be okay. It's just not as like deep as I would like. Can desaturate it a little. I got this brown and green from another project that I was working on earlier today. Is it all dry? Oh, never mind, it's all dry. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this guy back up. So, this is gonna be. Minerva, you're making me stand funny. We're slowly getting rid of the yellow. We're not going to get rid of it completely, though. Because the yellow indicates fat deposits. So we're going to let, like, this is kind of turning a funky orangey color. Probably just gonna let that stay a funky orangey color. And we will add some additional fatty deposits. Um, I probably put this down a wee bit. Thank you. Probably just pull out some. That's not a good one to use. Where's my nice one? Let's get some normal red. Hmm. 
Minerva has decided that the center of my comfy standing mat is the best place for her to be right now. I went and saw Renfield this past weekend. It was my birthday, so I went and watched a movie. Freaking hilarious. Totally go watch it. It's funny. You can also stay at home and watch it. And uh, I think Netflix, not Netflix, YouTube has it. I'm sure other streaming platforms have it. I enjoyed it immensely. 10 out of 10 do recommend. They had some really nice homages to older movies. Oh, thank God she moved. Not showing up on... Oh, there it is. I was like, where did it go? It's not showing up on screen. There it is. I found it. Minerva, what are you doing? If you try to climb up that, it's going to fall down. Yes, I understand that the cat cannot understand exactly what I'm saying, but it doesn't stop me from trying to talk to her. Maybe I've gone full-blown crazy cat lady. I see you, Minerva. Stop it. You're experimenting with the stickers. They're fun. They are fun. So we've got like some more purplish areas to add some kind of um, a bruising look a little bit. <laughs> I'm glad that I will at least have one human friend. So they randomly go a place on the screen, and then if you choose to spend bits on them, um, you, you basically get access to other stickers. And some of them have sound effects, which are kind of fun. They're just there to give you something to do. Oh, I also got my notice that I was accepted into SummerCon today. So I have not heard back from the Fremont Fest people, which is like the Summer Solstice Fest. But uh, I got into SummerCon, so whoop de yay It's really exciting. I don't know if I sound excited, but I am actually very excited. Meow. Meow. Yeah. And it's cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper to get into it than the summer con or the Fremont Festival. So yay. Minerva, are you going to jump someplace that you probably shouldn't jump? You look like you're going to.
I feel like it's really hard to see what I'm doing because like I'm working in these little tiny areas that I can't even really see. I'm like guessing this color should go in this place. It looks really cool on camera. It's definitely more like yellowy in person. Let's get some dark in there. Hey, Cherry Round. Thank you for the belated birthday wish. It was very nice. David cooked. He made a cake. He actually, so he baked. Usually he cooks, but he baked a cake. I was completely amazed because that's definitely not something that he usually does. So... It was, it was very interesting. He made a very good cake. I'm just going to say it was a very good cake. And yes, I did. I go and we went and saw, um, Renfield in the theater. Worth it. We went and saw matinee. So it was only like, it was like what? $9 a person. Like for two people, it cost us like $28 or something like that. Total. And then he cooked me chicken, another thing that he doesn't like to do. <laughs> he did a lot of things he doesn't like to do. Renfield sounds like Renfield. Renfield is the Dracula movie with Nicolas Cage as Dracula. And it was hilarious. I'm so glad that like Nicolas Cage has like, stopped being too serious about his movies. And has loosened up because there was a time where I did not like Nicolas Cage movies. Like, they were bad. Not the bees. <laughs> I haven't watched that movie. But, like, there are a lot of movies that came out with Nicolas Cage in them. And I was just like, I don't like his acting. I don't like how he portrays these characters. He doesn't look like he's having fun. And now he's having fun, I think. Yeah, if you get a chance, go watch Renfield, whether you watch it at home or in the theater. It was fun in the theater. I was giggling a lot because there were so many callbacks to other movies and stuff like that. It was hilarious. And then there was just like a crap ton of like mental health memes in there, which also made it funny. We did have popcorn. We got a giant thing of popcorn. I got myself some uh, chocolate-covered raisins and ate those. Oh, no, I broke some off. It'll be okay. I wasn't feeling Junior Mints. I wanted chocolate-covered raisins, so I got chocolate-covered raisins. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It was so silly. Go in expecting something stupid. You saw Junior Mints in the store the other days, and I was like, Carissa, <laughs> I, I do like Junior Mints. I haven't had Junior Mints in a little while. I think I'm uh, coming off of that, that need for Junior Mints. I did go to um, the local Winco and buy a literal like two pounds of chocolate covered raisins and I've been very slowly working through those. I'm trying to make sure that I don't like eat them all in one sitting. Sometimes it's hard.
Layla, the dog got spayed yesterday. Oh, uh, she all like catatonic and vegetable-ish and not feeling amazing. I wasn't even able to get, I had to change Minerva's vet appointment, so she hasn't even been to the vet yet. We're working on it, the 27th. 27th, Minerva gets to go to the vet. And then we can make an appointment to get her spayed. She was all sleepy yesterday and just got done eating her treats. Nice. Yeah, there, she'll probably be lethargic for a few days. I remember one of the cats we had growing up, we got her fixed, and um, after she woke up, it was like a, maybe, the, it was probably the same day, but in my brain it was like a day later or two days later. Um, she couldn't retract her claws, and she got herself stuck on the back of the sofa. So just just imagine your, your 80s super brown living room furniture with your burnt orange furniture sofa with the burnt orange flowers. Ah, Minerva, not my leg. That hurt. And yeah, she just stuck on the back of her burnt orange flower sofa. Now as a kid, you're like, haha, this is hilarious. And then I felt bad. I'm painting this one first because it's the easiest one to paint since it's already come off the base. I mean, I guess I could peel the other one off the base. I don't really want to, though. Yeah, she was super high. I don't know if that was the same one that got stuck in a tree. I remember those being two different cats. Excuse me for a moment. I must remove Minerva off of the desk. Hold on. Let's, let's move the microphone to a different spot. Put the microphone down. If I sound like I'm super far away, I'm sorry, but Minerva is demanding attention. Hey, hey, made me drop my paintbrush. Hey, come here. Come here. Let's go. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm super cute. Super cute. Hey. <laughs> Did I send, did you, I'll put this over here. Did I send you my dad joke of the year? I don't think so. If you did, I don't remember. I have the neediest cat on my, ugh. You know, Minerva, you make it very hard to do stuff. YouTube video it is. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Let me put this paint down and then I will go watch this YouTube video. There, that's how that's going to go. I have a feeling this one's going to come off. All right. One minute YouTube video. Let's go. Oh, it's the Muppets. I love the Muppets.
Oh my god, this is so funny. Yep, exactly. Unbelievable. Oh my god, Minerva, you're heavy. It is the most perfect. It is pretty good. Uh, I did see one on somewhere. I think I saw it on Instagram. This guy was like, I finally got a driver's license. And then there's a picture of an avocado with the letter H in front of it. Because he doesn't have a car, though. And it took me a minute. I hate to admit it, but yes, it took me a minute to get that one. And then I thought it was hilarious, and it lives rent-free in my brain. Yeah. It was a good one. I was just having a bad day, okay? My brain didn't want to make the connection. It did, and I did not need any help. It did make the connection. Oh my god, Minerva. Okay, I'm not going to hold you, Minerva. You're going to have to figure out how to balance on me all on your... Oh, I almost dropped it. She's like, I'm going to turn around. And put my face in front of your face so you have to pay attention to me, but I'm not going to. <laughs> you were being very difficult. <laughs> she just tried to put her face in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Minerva, you are causing problems. Damn you go. <laughs> Oh my god, that was hilarious. Kittens, man. They make things very entertaining. Okay, this is going to be this dark purple right here. This one's like all bruised. And now she's sitting on a stool. And hopefully she'll stay there happily for a little while. Or maybe she'll go upstairs and bug Nunzio. losing little tiny chunks which I think is going to be okay because I think it will make it look more authentically like torn Here. I have to make some more of this purple up, which means I need more red. so we can mix this up. Oh, hey, look, it's the purple that I was trying to get the first time around. Let's pop a blob of that over here. Tie a bit more of this blue. This, this blue, a little bit goes a long way. I think it was a little darker. Muppets are freaking awesome. <laughs> you would have thought, is that a frog laying down? No. No, it will be red in its in due course. I just figured I'd do this one first because I can pick it up and move it around and so it's kind of easier.
is so much easier to get in all the nooks and crannies. Hey, Keith, how are you? These are some hearts. And they're on like this dustpan thing. So like somebody swept up some hearts. My oil painting is not going to be ready in time for Crypticon. So I decided that this is what I'm doing instead. I have like three other things that I'm working on. But it's like we'll do this for stream. Get out of... Get out of a little bit of a rut. Yeah, this one just came unstuck from the base, so I kind of, I'm gonna paint it first. and Get to work on it, and then I'll work on the one that's stuck to the base. Cause this one just needs to be glued back on. Yeah, I was pretty happy when I, uh, when I was sculpting these, because it was a bit of a challenge, and sometimes challenge is good. Oh, there's like a little space in here that didn't even get any yellow. And I can't wait to go back and add a bunch of detail stuff. It's going to be exciting, because they're going to like really pop. Add some oranges and some pinkish colors. Add some veins, some veininess. Where is that little brush? That's not it. This is it. Ooh, this one goes way in there. Too much. If somebody, no, probably not. I don't think that human meat would actually taste good. Now, if, if it was, like, a matter of survival, and they were already dead, then yeah, I would, because I like being alive. Schrodinger's human meat, how do you know if it's good if you don't... I said I don't think it would taste good. There, uh, when I was, when I was younger, um... I found a website that like detailed like what certain types of humans would taste like. I didn't even think to ask because you know I was young that uh, like how would they know this? Yeah, we do. We have the ability to just grow meat. And it can taste like basically whatever they want. You assume Italians taste the best. I think it depends on your diet and exercise and stuff like that. Like, and apparently your race also ma makes a difference. Which, I'm not surprised. Honestly. But the one that sticks out in my brains is if you are like a middle-aged Caucasian man that had smoked recently, you would taste like soggy boiled meat, like boiled beef, like overcooked boiled beef. And I'm like, wow, that's like 
That just sounds harsh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, the internet. Internet corrupting people before, you know, memes were even a thing. Ooh, Minerva's off of me. I can put my microphone back on me. I've read that wild animals... Boy, um, yeah, we have so much fake stuff in us. Yeah. 100%. I do not think we would taste good. Even if you, like, were only a vegan, like, if you only ate vegetables, I, I still don't think humans would taste good. Just put the white meal into the air fryer for a little bit longer. You know, make sure you season appropriately. I really like how this is coming out. I'm pretty happy. Now, I don't know if I want to... I'm going to let this base layer dry and I'm going to paint the red on this. But I'm going to put this guy off to the side here. So he can maybe dry a little better. And that will free me up to work on this. That brush is all wonky. This is the one I was using. This one's pretty good stuck on the base, so I have to move the whole base. Yeah, that's a it's a it's a very morbid topic. I'm okay with it. I definitely don't think it's everybody's cup of tea for a topic to talk about, though. Meow! I just put my microphone back on, Minerva. I'm not picking you up again. Just watch. She's going to climb on my shoulder. She's going to climb up my back. <laughs> I know. Look, some of the other goth artists don't talk about weird things. I am, of course, painting human hearts, so I would think that would be expected to have some really weird conversation about uh, cannibalism and stuff. But you read a story about a sheep farmer that left some sheep carcasses out for coyotes, but he laced them with chemicals that would have set their stomachs. <laughs> oh, that'd be, yeah. Ugh. Learning through um, teaching them not to, to prefer sheep through, yeah. It, that's, it's a whole thing. I know that's a whole thing. Yeah, because they would associate it with uh, making them feel sick. Isn't like um, why like people that are in smoking cessation programs wear rubber bands on their wrists. So if they think about smoking, they're supposed to snap it. To make them associate pain with cigarette smoking and stuff. The only thing I'm addicted to is sugar, and that's kind of, like, socially acceptable. Probably. Maybe that's why there's such a thriving BDSM community. <laughs> Minerva. You knock that down, it's going to be a bad day. Enjoy your away from the computer time, Cherry. I will be here painting. The nice thing about not having a face cam is when I'm in a really weird position trying to look into this aorta heart vein tube thing, you guys don't get to see the weird position. <laughs> Stay away from pin cart. Hey, Minerva, get down. Get off my desk. You're not allowed up there. Nope. Nope. I 
I spoil the cat too much. That is the lesson that I'm learning. Of course, usually I'm at work, like working at my desk and I can't get, get away. So she can just like hang out there. <laughs> I think your cat... <laughs> she chose being needy. Is what she chose. I don't know if that's the same as chaos. <laughs> but definitely chose the I want attention and I want it now. You miserable human. Pay attention to me. She'll eventually go upstairs, I think. I feel like I'm painting the heart's butt. Like this little spot right here kind of reminds me of a butt. And another thing is, um, the cat did choose chaos, but cats always choose chaos. That's, that's like their thing. Right? Stay away from pin card. I will. I mean, I'm going to work on them. Just not right now. Not while I'm thinking about organs and stuff. Gotta hold it kind of like this. Minerva. Off my desk. No, there really isn't. There really isn't. Now she's kind of pouting. It's a little chilly here today and I'm thinking that she's cold and that might be why she's wanting so much attention. Maybe. Or she could just really want attention right now. Like there doesn't have to be a rhyme or reason. She could just want attention. Because usually at this time of day I am chained to my desk and there is like no escape for me. All right, let's hold this at this angle. Anybody else doing anything fun today or this week? Tell me all your cool things or the not cool things. Tell me the mundane things. I did two loads of laundry yesterday. Because chores never end, right? Just when you think you've got all your chores done. There are more chores.
Um, let's see, what else did I do? I went to the grocery store on Wednesday and it was super sunny out. And even though I put sunscreen on, I've got like sunburn. Like you can tell my hands are like super red. Because there is just not enough sunscreen in the world to keep me partic in particular from getting sunburnt. And I didn't wear a hat because I wasn't expecting to have to go all the way to the grocery store. I was hoping that the convenience store down the street might have stuff, but they did not have what I was looking for. Which was cream cheese frosting. You need to put on, you need to still put on clean clothes. Um, yeah, that's a definitely, you know, I'm not going to say that I am not also in that situation. I'm wearing clean pants today. I was going to usually, so it's definitely too much information, but usually I shower on like the day I have to stream. So when, I, you, when you guys see me, I'm usually like, I've recently had a shower. Um, I think I had a shower on Tuesday. I was going to shower on. Yeah. Um, I might be there in spirit. I will definitely raid Mr. Fox Guy's channel, but um, I have uh, an artist thing tonight. That starts at five-ish, so I'll be around for a little bit. Definitely, yeah, definitely gonna raid. I know, so I'm using these artist meetups to work on stuff, so I have, you know, like some quote-unquote low effort, low, pr uh, lower priced stuff for the conventions. And now that I know that I've gotten into um, summer con, I'm gonna need a lot of stuff so if I have to unfortunately miss out on some freaking amazing content because I love the movies that that Mr. Fox guys streams I'm gonna have to do it so I can make my financial monetary goals that I've set up for myself this year. Darn goals. Trying to paint inside this tube that I created. So many tubes. Okay, got that one. We need a little bit more in there. And then this top one here. I know. And then because, like, if I watch Twitch streams while I'm at work, I kind of stop working. And that's definitely a problem that I have. So I can't, like, go and watch the VODs afterwards. I just, I just get too distracted. It's just too much stuff out there. And I want to see it all. Reading your bio, you two landed on Twitch in search of live people. You found it through the me. Ooh. Yeah, I, I really, I kind of miss the pandemic 
in certain aspects because I really do miss just like sitting down and and hanging out virtually with a bunch of people and because I was also vending at outdoor events I definitely did not have um the same social withdrawals that a lot of other people had because I was still being social. I think I was more social during the pandemic than I am outside of pandemic times. So it definitely affects, you know, just how much I know bad Saturday mornings. I wish I had like enough money to, you know, support creators more, but I just, I just don't. And it definitely, I also have to remind myself that it can't just fall on one person to support, you know, a community like that. Like, it has to be everybody. And everybody else is also shouting into that same void. And it's hard to be heard. And... It's just, it's a, it's a whole thing, right, guys? It's just a whole thing. It was a small group. It was filled. Yeah. We were all definitely interesting. And we were very different people, I think. Not like, like, like it was a type. Okay. All right, turn this on this side. God, I can still see like there's so much stuff that needs paint on it. Well, that's that, and that's why like Twitch is Twitch is nice. I'm I'm sad that um. I think that Amazon is not necessarily going to put resources into Twitch too much more. Like, they've made it a stable enough platform that they can sell user rights to, which I think is what they're just going to do. They're just going to not really build up the tech anymore and sell usage rights. There's a bunch of the... Uh, a bunch of the other streaming platforms, like the newer little ones that have come out. Um, I think Kick is a good example. Um, there's a couple other ones. And they're basically using the Twitch platform. It's just got a skin on it. And these platforms rent time on the Twitch servers, basically, to stream movies or to do their streaming stuff. And... That's one of the reasons why I'm also streaming on YouTube now is, you know, diversify. Um, I've also been working on some stuff to do offline stuff on the back, on the back end. Um, so I had this thought exercise. My husband and I had this thought exercise because we're, we're not specifically happy with how big corporations have taken over the internet. And uh, the thought exercise, and you guys might enjoy this too. The thought exercise was the internet just stops working. Nobody knows why it stopped working, but the internet has stopped working. All your computers and stuff still work. Microsoft still works. Adobe still works. Your video games still work as long as they don't require internet connection. So like stuff still works. There's just no internet. How do you, how are you functioning? Like, what are you doing? And especially if you're, you know, a business or something like that, how do you get the word out that you are a business and you exist when everything is internet based now? And I don't necessarily think the internet's gonna go down, but it's just kind of a fun thought exercise. And yes, I know there were things that we did before the internet. I had a phone book. I had the yellow pages. Okay.
by like newspaper newspapers might come back that would be an interesting uh thing i don't know if it would be like traditional newspapers ah oh, crap i just scratched that like would it be like the same newspaper that we grew up with or would it be more like somebody had a printer at home and the neighborhood you know got together and made like a little neighborhood newspaper thing a little this is what's going on in district b so there's a thought exercise for you what would you do if there was no internet And what things do you, if you're not a business owner, this is, this is kind of the question. What things do you rely on the internet for that you would have to find a substitute? Like watching movies. We all stream movies. Do you have any backup way to entertain yourself with movies? Do you know where your libraries are? Do you know the basic places you go? Like, do you know how to get to certain places without using your internet, your GPS on your phone? Is GPS considered internet? Like, is that accessed by internet or is it something else? Like, that's the other thing too, is like, what is exactly accessible by internet? And a lot of people think text messaging, but text messaging is actually through a different system. So you'd still be able to send text messages. Which is, yay, you would still have to not, you wouldn't have to call people. You could still send people text messages. <laughs> so this must have thought exercise. It's something that's been kicking around in my brain for a couple of days. Ugh, I touched it. being very violent with my brush. <laughs> Look how curled it. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like super duper curled up. Been a little violent with my paintbrush today. It's one of the reasons why I don't buy nice acrylic paint brushes because I'm kind of mean to them. Okay, I think We're good on like some of this. I think this is pretty good. We can start doing some details. Cool. I'm going to take a quick break though. I've been talking a lot and I am out of water and I'm going to change my paint water. It's looking kind of brown because we're going to do some yellow stuff. You would be reading my need to read book list. Yes. Right. Right. But like, okay. Do you stream music? And if you don't stream music, how would you get music? Like I don't have a radio in my house. I, I might have a radio in my house, but I would have to go through everything to find it. Like I would not have any connection to like news outside of like going to talk to people. But yes, think about that while I go take a quick break. And again, I'm sorry, I do not have background music today. Um, I'm not sure why I can't get it to connect properly, but I can't. So 
Um, give me a couple minutes to get stuff and I will be back.
and I'm back. Got fresh water for me, got fresh water for the paint. Got stuff that needs to dry more. My hands are itchy. So, curse you, son. All right. Let's put you back where you need to be. Look at that. It's got... Get yellow on it. Thank you. I think they're looking pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with them. Just gotta get this back into where it's supposed to go, like that. I think they look really good. I'm pretty happy with them. So now what we're gonna start doing is adding like fats to it and highlights and stuff. We're gonna, we're not gonna use green. Oh, there's the yellow. So tell us your story about how you got into art and when you started. Um, I have been doing art since I was old enough to hold crayons. I have basically always done art. Um, did not come from like a super rich family or anything like that. So art kits, you know, the ones that you get that have like all the markers and all the colored pencils and um, all that kind of stuff in it. My grandparents would buy that, um, those kinds of things. I have fond memories of the customizable balloon people, like you could color their feet and their eyes and then you'd blow up a balloon and stick it on. Stuff like that. Did, did a lot of that growing up. Um, we lived in the middle of BF Nowhere uh, in Canada and I would uh, participate in coloring contests in the local newspaper and Sometimes I won. And winning local coloring contests are what kind of made me uh, want to become an artist and like at least try to support myself with my art. That is my ultimate goal is to be able to buy myself dinner occasionally for my art proceeds. Minerva. Oh my God. Okay. I will let you sit there on my shoulder like that. But yeah, I've been doing art forever. That's what it feels like. Sometimes life interrupts and you have to stop doing art for a little while so you can just deal with life. But every time that I had the opportunity, I would just go back and do more art stuff. I even had, when I was deployed in the military, I would buy art supplies and, and have to mail, mail them home. But yeah. I could be in the middle of a war situation and I would still have, you know, some painting stuff. That is very pink. We're going to have to uh, desaturate that a wee bit. And I don't even know if like my art story is normal. Or not. I kind of feel like it is, but I don't know. I don't live other people's lives. I think most artists are like, yeah, I knew I was an artist when I was young.
And that's this cat butt. Look, you can see her butt a little bit. Ah, now she's standing on my shoulders. Okay. What? You just want to drape yourself over like you usually do? There we go. Sometimes she, like, acts like a scarf and will just, like, drape herself over my shoulder. Because Minerva's hilarious. Aren't you, Minerva? Oh. Oh, I'm going over there again. Okay, I'm taking the microphone off. I'm putting it on the yellow paint container. If I sound far away, I apologize. It's all Minerva's fault. She, she must have attention now. Again. It's my fault. When I went upstairs, I pet her. The nice thing about this red is it's quite transparent. So if I put it over something that's darker, it doesn't like really cover it. And the same goes for yellow. Yellow is pretty transparent. Doo -doo. I need to turn this around, Minerva. Oh, oh, too close to the paint palette. I think I also lucked out with my parents because both my parents are fairly artistic. Not that uh, they all, you know, life. So they don't always get to do artsy things, but they, uh, they are both creative people. turned out really good. I like how like motley it is. It's exactly what we needed. Have you guys ever seen like um, photos or YouTube videos or uh, of, like anatomy people, uh, anatomy classes or um, there's a morgue that kind of goes over human anatomy and stuff like that. Super cool stuff. I don't necessarily know if everybody's like going to be interested in it, but um, there's this one that showed what a human heart looks like if you actually get all of the blood and stuff out of it. It's clear. Like... The only reason it look it looks white, but like the only reason it has a lot of color is because there's such dense fiber tissue fibers. So like if we t were able to clean out all the blood and stuff out of your heart, it would be like semi transparent. How freaking crazy is that? Holding a cat, painting a heart, talking about human anatomy. So 
making some more opaque-ish yellow spots so that it looks like the fat is a little bit more concentrated. We all have fat on our bodies and in our organs or on our organs. And it just kind of depends on your diet how much you've got. This person's probably got a little bit too much. Maybe they need to go on a diet. Start eating more fruits and veggies. Just like me. Right, Minerva? We could take better care of ourselves. looking so cool. Do to do. I'm trying to think. Fun things to talk about. Boring things to talk about. Stuff to talk about. I finally got my computer, my new computer all set up. Hence why we're streaming on it. I'm going to rest my elbow down there, Minerva. Because you're just... Part is so good. Look at that. Look at the colors and stuff. They're so cool. Oh, I need more red. Damn it. So how this looks is how we need to make the rest of this look. Which means I need some more red, which means I need to move my phone again. Get the red out. Ah. She's so happy. She's purring. You're making my life so complicated. I kind of feel like sometimes Minerva is like a chihuahua, like one of those dogs that you like have to carry around everywhere or it'll, you know, die or collapse or something. All the other dogs will gang up on it and beat it to a pulp. But you are in the weirdest position, Minerva. What the heck is going on up there? If you're going to be a scarf, be a scarf. Now we need to go in and soften the edges on these. I'm going to have to turn this because I just can't see everything that I need to see.
one year. I think I have some pictures of these. I'll have to check my photo album. Before my grandmother passed away, she sent like all the grandkids like a little photo album of stuff, of photos that she had or newspaper clippings that she kept. I might have to bust that out one day and share it with you guys. That could be really cool. I always, and I, again, I don't know if this is like something that like everybody does or a lot of people do, but I kind of forget that like the stuff that I've done in my life, not everybody has done it. So like it might not be interesting to me because, you know, I did it, but it might be interesting to somebody else. And so I just don't talk about it very often. Like stuff that has happened to me. I lived in the middle of nowhere and the Iditarod, um, which is a dog sled race, um, went through the, the place that I lived at. It was, we ran a little hotel in the middle of BF nowhere. And so we collected, like we, we got to meet the dogs and the dog sled drivers. I'm sure there's a technical term for them and I don't know it. Um, we made it in the newspaper. I think I have the newspaper article. I have pictures of the stuff that, uh, one of the drawings I did for a coloring contest, uh, cause it was printed in the newspaper and I think my grandmother saved a newspaper, that newspaper clipping and sent it. All right, I have to zoom out again, I think about there. I think that's good. This looks so cool. I'm so happy with how this is coming out. Um, trying to think. Um, when we lived in the middle of nowhere, I was homeschooled for like a year and I didn't understand math and my mom, my parents, mostly my mom couldn't like, I couldn't understand what she was trying to explain to me. And... Um, so I ended up having to do fifth grade over again. And once I understood math, I was like, oh my God, this, I understand this. It makes sense. And so I did good math. And now that I don't use math anymore on a regular basis, I have forgotten most of it. Don't, don't ask me to try and figure out, ooh, figure out what formula to use to get from point A to point B and if Bob is going to get there faster than Tim or whatever word problems. Not, not something I use in my day-to-day -day life. But I remember liking math. Got nothing against math. Math is fine. I have lived a whole bunch of different places. I've definitely done some stuff. My sister used to, one of my sisters used to be really good at convincing me to do not exactly legal things. And we totally got caught stealing. I think that's probably a common thing for some people. It's childhood, you know, petty theft. God, I 
it looks so good. I'm so happy with this. This is coming out awesome. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. You're asleep, aren't you, Minerva? I'm going to have to do that inside by itself. I ran cross country one year. Hated every second of it. I think I placed like sixteenth in the state of Alaska. Delivered newspapers multiple times as a kid. Minerva is going to fall off my shoulder if she doesn't wake up a little bit. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Ah, she woke up enough to pull herself back up my arm a little bit. What'd you miss? Uh, I told everybody all about my childhood. I don't know about all about, but oh my god. And Minerva is back on my arm. Can you just like... Oh, go to the other shoulder for a bit. Holy smokes. I paint right-handed, but oh my god, my left shoulder is kicking my butt. And we have this. I think this is looking freaking amazing. I love it. I love how there's like some slightly fatty looking tissues and things. We still need to paint veins and stuff on. But I am surprisingly very happy with how this is coming out. We need to do this guy next though. What was everybody's favorite class maybe not class maybe like teacher like a teacher that they remember we want some Minerva purrs on you. Alright, cat per time's over. 
You remember Mrs. Snodgrass? I had a teacher, I think it was in like second grade. It was like Mrs. Mistress, Mr. Friesen? Mrs. Friesen. I think it was Mrs. Friesen. Yeah, I would remember that name too. Uh, I had a high school English teacher. His name was Mr. Burgoyne. Actually, I think it was English and history. She was trying, Mrs. Treason. <laughs> she was tried for treason. I think it was F R E Z E N or F R E E Z E N. I don't really remember. I just remember really liking her class. Mr. Burgoyne was an interesting teacher. Definitely, uh, said some things that left a mark on me. Like after a while, the existential dread just kind of stops being dreadful. Which is nice to hear. Tell them to leave their marks elsewhere. <laughs> I wish I could say any of my college teachers made, like, impressed me. Or, you know, altered how I would think, how I thought or anything like that. But, um, they didn't really. Which is kind of sad because I feel like that's one of the whole purposes of, like, having college teachers is, you know, they can help educate you and change Change your thinking for the better, but yeah, no, none of mine really got the memo. Okay, I have held you for a really long time now. You get to go down. Let's go. Let, let me go. <laughs> You're fine right there. <sighs> okay, I put her down because I want to pick this up so I can get like the undersides and things. See how long she stays down. I held you for over half an hour. Some stuff is like kind of rubbed off a little bit. We don't want that. We'll add some yellow to that spot. I should drink some water. It has been a little bit. This is why you have to pick your sculptures up, especially if you're painting them. All these little nooks and crannies.
got the look on her face like she's going to jump on me. There she goes. She's, you guys are missing out on so much with me not having a face cam. She literally jumped off a stool to climb on my back. And now she is sitting on my shoulder, my collarbone. You got a rack of pork ribs, you have never cooked them, and you're gonna give them a try in your oven. Um Oh God, there's so many fun things you can do with pork ribs. Um boil them first. Yeah, low and slow. Low and slow if you don't want to boil them first. But if you have like um some decent beer or some just crap beer boil them in beer for a while and then um put them in the oven get the silver skin off also cook them with the fat side up so the fat drops down them yeah marinating overnight is helpful gets a lot of flavor in there if you do that Yeah, fat side up so the fat drips down through the meat. That's true. It does depend on what kind of ribs you want. Cherry is very, very correct. I like mine reasonably tender. I like mine flavorful is what I like. Um, so a lot of the times, so how I usually cook them is I will marinate them for a couple hours and then boil them in beer water. And, uh, then, and then put the barbecue sauce on them and then put them in the oven. And then about halfway through their cook time, you baste them to make sure that the barbecue sauce gets into all the nooks and crannies. And then like the last 10 minutes or so, you, you broil them so that they get crispy on top. You only broil them for the last like couple minutes. At least that's what we do. Usually, when we cook them. We don't, we don't do, uh... I'm starting to think we don't cook them enough. We need to. Yeah, low and slow. It's not, it's just like, um, it's time consuming. I think that's like the big problem with, uh... Ribs, like if you want to do them right, it just takes forever. Uh, if you pre-cook them, like if you boil them first, you can basically cook them on whatever temperature you want. Um, if you're going to go low and slow, I think it's like 250 for like, um, it has, they have to get over like 160 degrees inside before they're fully cooked. But if you, you, if you're going to do it for a long time, you can cook at a lower temperature. God, we usually do like 250 to 300, I think. I'm trying to remember. It's been a really long time since I've cooked pork ribs. Love pork ribs. They're freaking amazing. All right. 
I'm going to set this off to the side. This is what we got. It looks super cool. I know, now I want ribs too. You are not alone, Cherry. You are not alone. All right, I'm going to put this over here very carefully. God, that came out really good. I am super pleased with how that came out. Um, it de it depends, cherry or, or not cherry <laughs> ivory. It really depends. Uh, it depends on your oven. It depends on your elevation. Uh, it depends on if you pre cook them or not. Oh, Jamaican rub. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Can I come over to your house? Ow! 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 Claws in my neck. We're, we're working, Minerva. It won't. It, it will remove some, which is, um, usually if you just, like, boil it a little bit with beer, it cooks it, like, halfway. Like, you don't even have to boil it. Just, like, cooking it about halfway. And then, kind of like how you would do, like, beer brats. Only you have, um pork ribs instead. That is a very yellow. That is not supposed to be that yellow. That's what we want. I mean, you don't have to. It just, again, it takes... Um, the meat will be more tender, kind of. It'll be juicier. All right, we ready? This is the one we're using. Thanks, it being 3.20 here, it's too late in the day to start them over for supper. Yeah, but you can do them, you can prep them now for tomorrow. And then you can have an amazing dinner tomorrow. You'll be able to marinate them tonight. This is like where people on the internet sometimes have really good ideas. Like, best, best pork ribs. Um. Say it again, more tender and juicy with boiling or without. I... I like to boil them because they take less time to cook in the oven and you're more likely to make sure that they're cooked through properly, but um, you don't have to. Well, they are more juicy because you've put water in them. You've put liquid in them, so they will be juicier. I just don't know if they'll be as tasty. Depends on, again, like your, your preferences and what, what you... Uh, what you've seasoned them with. Uh, after, after. You wanna, you wanna get all the seasoning as best you can before you do any cooking with them. Once you start cooking it, the meat is less receptive to, um, seasonings because part of dry brining is it's it's um it's preserving the meat with salts and stuff like that like part of marinating it is is opening up the meat to accept things i let that dry too long meat Accept the salts and the flavors. 
I think if you brine overnight and then cook low and slow, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that sounds really good. And you know what? It's it's an experiment, right? Just just experiment. Because if if it doesn't turn out great this time, doesn't mean you can't buy them next time, another time, and try something different. Something flickered. Scared the Jesus out of me on my computer monitor. Don't do that, computer. Cherry probably does barbecue stuff or, or more than I do. I don't know why. It's like I have the stuff to do it. You're a smoker. Smokers are good. My brother-in-law smokes turkeys all the time. You were a vegetarian for 40 years, starting at age 19, so you have to learn how to cook meat from the beginner status. Yeah. Yeah, totally, totally understand. It's definitely one of those things, like, if you don't use it, it kind of disappears on you. It's one of them skills. It's like math. There's a great YouTube channel for you to watch. <laughs> There's a lot of YouTube channels to watch that um, go over, like, best practices for cooking. Just don't send her to that one guy that can't seem to cook anything for the life of him. Like, he has probably caused food poisoning a thousand times. Your bod was failing as a veggie. Yeah. Well, and, like, you can still eat meat responsibly. You know, go spend the money and, you know, find the ethically raised critters. You can also, you know... Chef Jean-Pierre. Uh, my husband likes watching Sorted. It's a it's a British food channel, and they they have uh, professional chefs, and then they have chef chefs chefs. They have like a professional chef on staff, and they often have um, quote unquote normies. They have two non professional chefs, and they're basically all about showing what you can do in your kitchen, even though you don't have like the knowledge. You got a point there. It is nice talking to people that have had experience with certain things. Definitely gets you a viewpoint and things you might not have tried on your own. Sam the cooking guy. I've never heard of him. Um, I've, I have, I don't watch a lot of cooking YouTube. And when I'm watching cooking YouTube, I usually end up watching, like, some reaction channel reacting to somebody's really bad cooking. Like, Uncle Roger reacting to, um, that one guy who, I swear to God, actually doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> Let's make fried rice with olive oil. Booyah! Yes. <laughs> He's very good. He does cook outside a lot. I can't do that. You have learned a lot from him and he's really good at cooking. Cool. Well, when I'm in a rut. <laughs> yeah, don't make him put his leg down, man. Hi, ya. <laughs> Ooh, yo. Yes, God, I love Uncle Roger. And Nigel, the guy that created Uncle Roger. He's a good guy. He's funny. Didn't get to go see his tour. Um, he came to the Seattle area, and I was 
otherwise occupied or I totally would have gone. I think it was down in Portland, but um, I totally wish I could have gone. Chef Jean Pierre is great too. Um, who was that? I've been watching this one guy. Um, he won like uh, he won the Beat Bobby Flay challenge at some point. Like he was like he said he says he won one of the seasons. I think it was first season maybe. I don't know, but he uh, he's been a chef in a bunch of different different kitchens, and he uh, basically started up a reactionary channel. How do I, he actually lives where he used to live. Oh, cool. Cowboy Kent. Yes, Cowboy Kent is good, too. Uh, my husband is making some uh, mushroom ketchup based off of a cowboy, one of Cowboy Kent's recipes. Oh, and the guy that does cooking history. Like, he'll make some, like, really historical recipe and then tell you, like, all the cool things that were happening on, happening in time on that, during that time frame. Tasting history, yeah. I kind of enjoy his channel. And how to cook that. How to cook that is one of my favorite channels. Just because she goes, like, she explains things. Because baking... Is like a, it's a it's a science. Baking is a science. There is so much chemistry in baking, and people just like act like baking is is uh, you know a, a not not a big thing. Like everybody can do it, and you know women women bake because it's easier or something like that. And I'm just like, you all don't even know, do you? I didn't watch their Titanic one. I do have to remind David that he is going to make that mushroom ketchup because he needs to do that before the mushrooms go funky. Townsend is great for 18th century cooking. You got a little cookbook from the 1700s from it. Cool. Ooh, pumpkin pie. Everything used nutmeg. <laughs> yeah. Cinnamon was for the wealthy. Until they figured out that cinnamon is literally tree bark. Like some, some uh, merchants ended up going to India to find out why cinnamon was so expensive. It is just fucking tree bark. The history of cinnamon is hilarious. It's got cookings and art. It really is. And it's also like a science too, like I was saying. You know, if you're if, if things are off balance, your your food doesn't taste as awesome as it could. I'm glad everybody should have a passion, something that they're passionate about. Makes life worth living. Lately, you've been learning authentic Indian. Oh my God. You got a rice grinder and you're learning how to make. <gasps> the first ones weren't crispy. Yeah. This dude, that sounds amazing. I'm pretty good at making doll, which. Oh. We have an Indian place um, that we like to go to. We haven't been to a while. Seriously? Oh, we've got an Indian food place that the um, owner is uh, from India. And he, like, you know, had, a, had an interesting childhood and traveled around to different areas of India. And um, when he got to the States... He, you know, worked a bunch of different jobs and realized that um, food is, is a, a good way to, 
make money and keep food on the table. So he's opened up an Indian food restaurant, and it is one of the best that I have ever been to. It is freaking amazing. Oh my god, Paneer. Mmm. Well, if I'm ever traveling and I'm in the area that you live in, I I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, hey, Ivory. <laughs> Do you have a Discord? Yeah. I well I I don't the my art channel doesn't have a Discord, but I am on Discord. Cherry, you... No. Happy Goth Art does not have a Discord channel. Um, Carissa is on Discord as Spam's wife. You... You've talked to me on Discord, Cherry Round. My handle is Spam's wife. And some numbers. I'm friends with Cherry on Discord already. Um, actually, I can I can send you a message with my Discord thing. Give me a second. I gotta soften these before they get too uh, entrenched. Okay, hang on. Move that over there. Move this over here. Find Discord. Where'd I put my keyboard? Almost always have Discord up. Because we use it for work. Oh, it's over on the other screen. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Where's... My mouse is being weird. You make good app. Oh my god. I just like food. I am seriously like a crazy foodie. Okay. Message. I'm gonna bust out my keyboard, Ivy. That's not how to do that. I'm being stupid. You already put it in. Stop doing stuff. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Cherry. I appreciate you. And I just about dropped my keyboard on the floor. <laughs> like, there's usually a table or something back there. Let me just throw this on the ground. Cool. I will keep an eye out for a friend request. Now I lost track of where I was. Okay. Text mints, authentic Mexican food, you learned. Oh. <laughs> Terry's like, send me some fresh salsa. <laughs> God, that's just good food. The stuff at Walmart just sucks. Why are you buying your, oh wait. Why are you buying your salsa at Walmart? You should have, you know, a decent Hispanic population in Florida. Well, I guess it's more like Haitian, but... Why are you... Jerry, you need to get out more. Go to, like, farmer's markets and stuff. Don't grocery shame me. <laughs> Go to farmer's markets and things. 
that's the best place to get like god get some fresh tamales oh you've been cooking for over six years that's why as mature women are such great cooks yes and you know, like, you have the instincts. The instincts. Like, I'm a decent cook, but it's just because, like, I don't, I'm, it's, it's not my thing. It's not my happy spot. I can teach you how to make fresh salsa so easy. I know! I have one of those. I don't do salsa a lot. I hate to say it, but Mexican food is not my favorite food. I'm definitely partial to the uh, Euro Eurasian area food stuffs and Asian food. So India, Europe. Oh yeah, Elton Brown. I haven't watched any of his stuff in forever. I haven't been watching a lot of foodie stuff. I really haven't. Maybe I should be fired. Oh, he's touring again? Nice. Good for him. There's a point in your life where you just kind of decide something is going to be the thing that you really want to put all your effort into and I put all my effort into painting stuff so I'm a mediocre cook but that means that that space is freed up for somebody else who really likes to cook <laughs> Because we can't all be really good at everything. You put all your effort into farting and annoying people on Switch. Well, um, I'm, I'm happy for you. Uh, just be careful with the farting thing. Because um, if you apparently if you do that too much, it could be a sign of some internal issues. So you should be careful. Oh, I'm going to have to go get some more water in a minute. Not having background music as a crutch is, uh, God, look at this freaking brush. It's like, it's got like a knob hanging off of it. I've been so brutal to it. I've been super brutal to all my paintbrushes, apparently. Again, cheap brushes. If you're going to paint something and you might feel like you're going to be a little brutal to them, buy cheap brushes. Okay. I have to... Okay, I've got to turn this this way. Are we in frame? We are still in frame. That is... Fabulous. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, you need Cherry. If you haven't found these guys yet, you should. There's a company called Lofty Pursuits. 
And they stream their stuff on YouTube. Like, they make candy and they stream it on YouTube. And I've freaking... They made... Was it last year? No, I think it was the year before last year. They made pickle hard candy. Because apparently there's a freaking pickle convention in, like, Georgia or something. And he made pickle hard candies. Flippin' amazing. Dill pickle, not like not like sweet sandwich pickle. He made dill pickle freaking candies, and they just looked amazing. And I, I'm pretty sure that he was questioning his own sanity. But yeah, like seriously, I would check them out if you actually have a chance to go there, because they are in the Florida area. I'm not sure where in Florida, but they're in Florida. <laughs> all subscribed they don't like their and their videos aren't usually super long which is nice but yeah um definitely check them out while well, they're either either going to be really close or seven hours away <laughs> i don't know i just thought it was crazy speaking about pickles that like somebody made dill pickle candy i know in florida I, I'm pretty sure they're in central-ish Florida, so I'm not... I don't know. I just know they're in Florida, and the, this talk of dill pickle reminded me that they exist. And I don't know if they're making their, uh, their dill pickle candy anymore, but they're just... Dill pickle candy, come on, man. How weird is that? Like... It's hilarious. And that's a science, man. Making hard candy. Super easy to jack that up. It's a four hour drive. That's not too bad. That's a day trip. And it's for candy. Like, it'll be worth it, right? <laughs> Oh, they're in the Panhandle or Alabama light. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious, dude. Well, I lived in Alabama light for like a year when I was younger. Much more appropriate there. <laughs> right. I lived in Jacksonville for like six months. Six, eight months, something like that. It was not my favorite living experience. I've been a lot of places. It does. Uh, it, it really is. Only I think there's like a little bit, few more like creepers there. <laughs> Dude, how many people do you know that live on the west coast have even been to the east coast, like for more than just a vacation? I've lived on the East Coast. I've been there, done that. Have the have the trauma. <laughs> Not 
terrible, just not, it's definitely not my happy place, personally. I was, I was told people, like, the East Coast is, like, everybody there is, like, in a hurry to go nowhere. Especially up, up north. Get to the bigger cities. And they're all just like, I have to get here now! And here now is, you know, three blocks away, but they're, they're going there for God knows no reason. Name one good thing about the East Coast. Um, everything's really fairly close together. So I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but like you can take one train and in a couple hours be somewhere else. Of course, on, on that note, um, it's a bad thing too. Like things are kind of close together and you can take one train and be like in a completely different area. Uh, people are kind of rude in my opinion, but that's again in the, the, they're in a hurry to go nowhere kind of thing, which means they don't have time for politeness. Best part of the East coast is that there are trains and you can get away from the East coast. <laughs> That is why I live on the West Coast. And that is why I specifically live in the Tacoma area. Because we are like an hour away from practically everything. Alright, where did that spot go? Great, now you want ribs and tacos. Oh, God. Because I said Tacoma. <laughs> I think you just wanted tacos already then, if that's the case. Oh, I've got to pick this up. Now your severed heart looks like a red octopus. It kind of does from this angle. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I must get away! Uh, did I do anything for May the 4th? Nope. 
Um, and David wanted to go see, because they did, they were doing a limited theatrical release of um, the OG Star Wars. And David was going to go, but yesterday was a rough day and he decided against it. Which kind of made me sad. I know. Well, and yesterday was the last day, so like he he kind of missed his he missed his opportunity. He should have gone, even if he wasn't feeling it. He should have gone. I think part of it is is like I'm not super into Star Wars, and I didn't really want to go. So that might have put a damper in his his thing too. Usually when there's cool Star Star Wars stuff going on, his brother will go with him, but his brother didn't answer his phone. Like, wasn't answering his messages or something. Do, do, do. Whose idea was it for three Death Stars? Good question. All right. Let's get tiny brush. Tiny brush. Oh my god, there's a huge tiny brush area. Tiny brush in there. Get in there. In you go. Gotta be careful not to let this bit touch the ground. Maybe if I kind of turn it completely upside down. Ugh, I got this huge gap in there. That's going to be hard to do. Might deal with that later. Okay, I got a little tiny spot in here that needs some paint. Big spot down here that needs paint.
every few minutes it starts looking cooler and cooler. Which makes me happier and happier. Oh boy. Get this one done. This is like the last big chunk. Sorry, I slid that slid off screen. This is this, this, and like some fine details on these little ones are kind of last little bit that I need to do. I think. Keyword being think. I think. And then I might see if I can pop this off of the wood and see if I can paint like the bits that I'm not going to be able to get easily. Because that sounds like a smart thing to do. Like if I can get it now, it's probably a good time to do it. And then seal everything, then put it back on. Mm. 
somebody's home from whatever adventures in the great outdoors they were on. I can hear people walking around upstairs. This really does look like an octopus having a bad day. Get some color inside here. Okay. Clean off Let's that. party. What do you plan to do with your hearts when I'm finished? Oh my god. Hi, Fib Philip. With lots of peas. That's so many peas. Hi. Uh, what am I planning on doing with the hearts when I'm done? I am going to sell them at Crypticon. But it's got some more steps to go through. We've got to varnish them. Decide if I want to do the UV resin things. Hi Raiders. How are you? Welcome to my little chill stream corner on the internet. I usually have background music, it's just not working. I have a new computer and I haven't figured out how to hook the background audio up to my streaming software properly yet. Changes, man, they can be tough. I also usually have a face cam, but I broke that. I knocked it off my uh, table. We have we have organs. We have um, air dry clay sculpted organs. There's actually two. There's two hearts. This one is drying. It's still not quite dry down here at the bottom. And I think I'm gonna pop this one off the tray so I can paint the undersides. But yeah, yeah, we got a little little uh, little creepy dark gothy kind of vibe going on. It does. If, if you angle it like so, it looks like it's an octopus having a bad day. It really does. I concur, Cherry. I totally concur. But I think we're almost done with like the detail parts on the stuff that's going to show the most. It's basically just all the fiddly little bits. It keeps sliding off the screen because I'm trying to... Just trying to do that. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to pop it off. 
we have a palette knife for knife for that. I'm gonna see if we can't slide this under here and ha ha! It came off. Oh, it's not dry under there either. This is actually a good thing then because we want it to dry properly before I try to sell it. So let's pick this up. Look at all these spots that. So this is still wet. Like I can still peel the stuff off of it. So we're not going to paint that. We're going to paint some of these other areas though. I think I'm going to need some more red. So like we need to paint this. This is one of those good happy accidents. Painting three-dimensional things is challenging. All right, I'm gonna mix some purple in this little bit of red that I've got left. That's like super purple. This has been drying for over a week, just so you guys know. Are you gonna coat them with a gloss at the end? I'm, yes, that is the plan right now. I also might do some UV resin stringy bits because I think that would look really cool. Uh, I'm also gonna paint blood piles on this and then I'm gonna stain the rest of the wood kind of like a darkish brown color, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think it's going to be super cool and wonderfully gross. Uh, yep, yeah, I do. I see it, Ivory. As soon as the stream is over, I will accept it. But yeah, I've kind of been having a little bit of some art block and one way to help overcome art block for me anyways is to try new things. And I haven't done sculpty anything in or sculptures, not sculpty specifically the brand, but you know, sculpt sculptures of my art. I haven't done sculptures since like high school, so like why not try some sculpture? Air dry clay is not stupid expensive. It is a easy entry level. Just uh, just kind of go with it. I also have to paint this butt part of the heart. I need I need more red, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna put this back down like that. That it actually goes there. Move the other one over here for a minute because the red's back there. It was sitting on the red. Giant pots of red. Um, let's see, next week. I don't know what I'm going to do next week. Probably work on this more next week, maybe honestly. It's because there's there's still stuff to be done. Alright, pick this up. This blue, a little bit of this blue goes a long way. It's a piece of paper. Okay, it's gone now. It looks like how 
how to get into these places. These nooks and crannies. Oh, if any of the raiders that came in are artists and want to share their art, feel free to do so. Share the art. It's appreciated. And how did your stream go today? Ah. Um, at, just so everybody knows, at 4 o'clock, so in about 45 minutes, um, we are going to be raiding over to Mr. Fox Guy's channel. He does... Um, Movies. He does movie streams, so he's going to be doing some fun and interesting movie. I have no clue what movie he's doing this today, because I have not been paying attention to his uh, advertising. I'm a terrible, terrible fan. So if an oldish movie sounds like something that you might want to watch, maybe learn a bit about the movie, hang out. We'll, we'll bounce over there. The heart butt right here. Oh, there's so many, like, nooks and crannies. And it's like, am I going to miss something? I feel like I'm missing something. But I need to leave some of this exposed so it'll actually dry properly. If it stops raining, maybe I can take it outside and put it out in the sun, maybe that'll help it a little bit. Come on. Try to get some decent gradient going on here, too, in these little nooks and crannies. Do, 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 do. All right, so we've got this heart. And this heart goes, oh shoot. It's like, how does this one go now? It goes like this. There we go, okay. So we've got these two guys, they still fit together. Very nice. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and the colors look super awesome. I'm super happy with the colors. Yeah. And a little, some little highlights that are kind of a pinkish color in a couple spots. 
doesn't really need it. Again, it's a sculpture, so things are just... Just want to like help it push the highlights and lowlights and stuff like that. Okay, I am super happy with that. Hooray! Okay, I'm going to take another quick break. I need more water. And these need to dry for a few minutes before I'm going to paint. I'm going to start working on the um, tray. And we'll start painting like bloody grossness on the tray. It'll be exciting. But um, water first, because if you don't have enough water, your brain will not function properly. So I will be back in just a minute.
All right, I am back. And I just got, like right before I came back, I got an approval notice. So I have been approved for two big conventions, well, festivals, conventions this year. And I'm so excited because that means that I might actually make my financial goals that I have set for myself this year, which would be freaking amazing. It would be so cool. Making your goals. How freaking cool is that? Okay. Yay, goals. <laughs> Yay, goals. Oh, no, you didn't sound super confident about that, Cherry. All right, we're going to put this over here. I'm going to put it like that. And then this one. Ugh. I've got this little plaque here you can stay there all right well the nice thing is is now we have an outline for the, the stuff that i need to paint right no clue what button i clicked all right um we get to paint ooze we get to paint gross gooey things so like all of this is gonna be Gross. It's probably going to be some like, because it's coming from here. Oh, this whole corner is just going to be red. So let's just paint this whole section red. So if we're doing gooey hearts, then the goo would be everywhere. So let's embrace the goo. Excited. Oh, so freaking excited. Now I just have to like not let myself get overwhelmed. That is the challenge, guys. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed. Well, the two hearts are going to be here. I mean, we're going to need a little bit down here, too. But. Yeah. They are. They are quite, quite gross. That's what happens when you use a wooden thing for a dustpan to pick up bloody gross hearts. It's not really going to be a lot of wood showing on this, I don't think. At least not in this part. Whoa, that's, that's, um, red on my hand. Try 
probably need some stripiness like this. a lot of red. That is a lot of red. But we're not done yet. Wait, there's more. This is uh, way more red than I thought there was going to be on here. It's going to look cool when I'm done. I know it will. I have the feeling that it's going to look super cool. We just got to uh, got to get to that spot. You're listening to your dog with the cone of shame navigating around the world, I bet. Oh my god, Minerva's going to have a field day when she gets her cone. <laughs> Avery was just in your game stream and said hello. Awesome! Yay! Hi again. I'm glad she stopped by. Uh, he's been streaming on, you've been streaming on YouTube, right, Keith? I vaguely see you when I'm working, and, uh, I just, I can't watch streams while I'm working, because then I stop working, and then that's, you know, that's, it's not the point of paid t job. I got into SummerCon. And Fremont Fest. So next month is going to be busy. Because I'll have two events. Two big events. And they're like the weekend after each other too. It's freaking insane. I'm excited. I'm also at the why in God's name did I sign up for two events that they're like the two big events that are like the weekends after each other. Am I insane? The answer is obviously yes. If you answered something else, you left YouTube for God, they do. Oh, okay. Goodbye, YouTube. I, uh, yeah. Uh, they, they need to, uh, evaluate that statement because there's some very unoriginal stuff out there and I, I don't know.
You got your game on kick? Cool. I've not really investigated kick yet. If you do any movies or just chatting streams, they'll be on Twitch. So kick is um, run off of the Twitch platform. It's it's the same back end stuff, which is freaking crazy. Yeah, it looks and behaves the same. Yeah, it's it's because it's this, it's Twitch basically leased out the the operating system or how how Twitch works. They just lease it out to people and they put their channel, they put their website skins on it, and boom, there you go. Yeah. Uh, there's a whole bunch of the, the newer streaming platforms that haven't gotten super popular yet that are run off of the Twitch platform. Just some slight rebranding. And, you know, there you go. It's so hard to get away from the big green... Yeah, it is. It so is. It's kind of one of the reasons why, like, um, my husband and I had that mental exercise of you know what would happen what would you do if the internet went out hey alexis how are you so we're kind of slapping some paint on this board and here is heart number one what would you do if the internet went out? Yes. So, like, the internet just, you know, mystically stops working. Nobody knows why. It just stops working. What would you do? Here's the big heart. It goes like this on here. Slap the router. It's not a router issue. The whole world lost internet. What do you do? Yes, mystically. Yes, the, the internet mystically goes out. But technology still works. Like your cell phone still works. Uh, intranet still works. So if you set up a small home internet system or something like that for your neighborhood, it would work. But yeah, like the internet, the global internet is, just doesn't work anymore for some reason. Nobody knows why. It just doesn't. So, you know, how, how do you do stuff? You're still going to have to go into, like, okay. You also got to think, okay, if the internet's not working, that will happen someday. Everything, will, yeah, everything will go down someday. And um, what are you going to do? Like, how are you going to deal with it? Um, banking, most banking's online. So how are you going to bank? How are you going to, you know, purchase the materials that you need to survive? It's just the thought exercise. It's just, it's just a thought exercise. The way you lived before the internet, you had a PC. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's a lot of people that we would probably be okay, but there's still a lot of people out there that would not be okay. Um, I am inspired by, um, that thought, at least in my mind, is inspired by an Outer Limits episode. I miss the Outer Limits. Black Mirror does a decent job of replacing the Outer Limits stuff, but yeah. But, so the thing is, is, Ivory... The bank itself, cool, but 
they can't access the internet. Your money is not physical anymore. Like money is not physical. Hardly any money is physical. So if the internet goes down, where's your money? Uh, no, in our thought exercise, in, uh, electricity works. Electricity works. Um, you're like text messaging systems work. Your computers still work. Things still work, just not the internet. And again, nobody knows why. It's just the internet. Maybe it's aliens. I'm just, it, it's a thought exercise. The, the why behind it doesn't matter. You know, stuff happens. Something happened and the internet goes down. All right, have a good night, Keith. I honestly also know I'm not like the only person that's thinking like random post post apocalyptic thoughts in this day and age. It's just interesting. It's just a thought exercise. Definitely does not mean anything. Yeah, if you have well. You would have, if you had downloaded something, you would still have access to it because it's stored locally on that device. So if you had a bunch of ebooks, you'd be fine. If you had things downloaded to your devices, you'd be okay with those. How to Revive the Internet, Chapter 1. <laughs> you'd have to basically remake it, I, th I would think. I don't know. Again, it was just like a th random thought exercise. And again, I know I'm not like the only person thinking random thought exercises. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so good. Oh, it's so juicy looking. There's just a whole bunch of people that, like, they, they've adapted to internet so quickly or so much, so heavily, that it's almost like they don't know how to function without. I am, I'm one of them, I will admit. If the internet went out, I would be... Um, it would take me a little bit to get over not having access to a bunch of stuff. You remember the Dewey Decibel System? What's the capital of Spain? Good question. I don't have the internet to look it up. But I do know the Dewey Decimal System. They don't use the Dewey Decimal System anymore in libraries. Your knowledge is outdated, Cherry. Let's go to the encyclopedia. <laughs> um, what was it? Uh... Do you remember back in the day, um, I think it was like 2008 or something like that, Wikipedia made a um, handheld device that you could back up the Wikipedia 
like a bunch of Wikipedia entries. Do you remember that? Yeah, I have one in my house somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and then you could update things. Like, you could connect it to the internet. They, I mean, they've just continued it, so it doesn't, like, work anymore. But just the thought of that was cool. Okay, so phase, phase two idea. Um, okay, the internet has been down for like a year, right? Just, it's just been down for a year. And um, random cities start getting it back for like a couple hours every couple of days. Oh, did we get a spam bot? Fun times. I wouldn't miss those. I did not see it. I literally didn't. I just see the so and so message deleted. You were you were on the ball. Was it bad? It's because Cherry is one of the best moderators I've ever had. Mostly because I think Cherry is like the only moderator I have. <laughs> so by default, Cherry, you are the best moderator ever. <sighs> and technical ability. You are very technically able. I appreciate that. Because setting up a new computer was hard. I can't imagine, like, also having to monitor my own freaking stream or something. Like, that might be... That might just be too much. Alright, I kind of want to do more up here, but I don't remember exactly where these bits go. So um, we're not going to do more up there. But I do like how these look down here. I think they look really cool. They look super cool. soften a couple of them because they really stand out. They stand out a wee bit too much I think. These are going to look super cool with like a high gloss resin on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I should have sent Cherry a text message when I was having issues getting Windows to install. Mr. Fox Guy's early. Well, he usually starts his streams like 10 to 15 minutes early. You got the like countdown and stuff. Okay. Let's turn this around. Oh my. That's. Let's smush this around in here. Already? He 
is early. Mr. Fox guy. For shame. I wonder if it's an accident. Ugh, you're gonna make me so hungry. Well, I think we're done for today anyways. I think that's about all I can do until things dry. <laughs> if Discord wasn't 110% selling data to everybody and their grandmother, I would have my own Discord server. But um, I already use enough Discord, so I don't, I don't really want to expose people to that. That's just it's a me thing. Okay, so we've got this lovely thing painted. The next time you see it, it will be also stained to look like wood, like more like wood, like darker wood. And we have these hearts that are gonna still dry. So I'm gonna try to keep them up so they can air out properly. There's that one. There's this guy that looks like an octopus having a bad day. Yeah, this is all still like super wet. I definitely should have realized that that was going to be a bit of a problem. So, yeah. All right. So I guess what we should do now that I am basically done painting things, we should go raid Mr. Fox guy and um, find out what movie he's showing. Typing. That is not how you spell the word mister. Oh my goodness, Carissa. Tur. There he is. Excuse me, can I like have the full screen? What the heck just... It stopped. I love and hate this keyboard. I love and hate this keyboard. Start raid. Okay. We are raiding Mr. Fox Guy. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today and um, keep posted on my social medias because I will probably post some progress pics of at least painting the uh, shovel thing. Maybe. We'll see. But thanks for hanging out with me today and we'll see you later. 